Hey guys, a lot of you have been asking about me doing another run of limited edition t-shirts. But the good news is, we have listened and we are doing it. Check this out. This is the Smoking Tire Vintage T-Shirt. Comes in black, gray, or blue. And here's the kicker. I'm only selling it for 10 days. If you want one, you gotta buy it now. The sale ends on August 19th and you buy one by going to the link in this video or clicking the annotation but for 10 days only and that's it. They're good material, they're a reasonable price and it's the classic smoking tire logo in a cool new vintage look. Check it out. Morning everybody, welcome to Big Tahunga. Uh, this is our second Andrew with a Rambler. So thank you so much for coming down. Andrew, tell me about your Rambler wagon that is different from the last Rambler wagon we did. Uh, this is my budget track day toy. Um, Hilarious choice <laughs> for a track day toy. So what, start at the beginning. What year is this thing? This is a 1963 AMC Ambassador 990. And what does uh, that signify? That is the top of the line Rambler you can get. You, you go to the lot and it is the... It's, it's power the, steering, the power fresh, brakes, all yeah. options. Okay, so what's under the hood? There's a six liter LQ9 Escalade engine. Excellent, and a six speed manual, five speed manual? A uh, six speed manual. Okay, what have you done with suspension since you go to the racetrack? I completely handmade it with help from pick and pull parts. Really? Yeah. Just out of whatever you can find. Awesome. I have a welder and an angle grinder, and I made it work. <laughs> uh, it sounds like New Zealand engineering. <laughs> I like your uh, your Android display gauges. That's excellent. So just uh, fire it up. Push the button. Oh, I, oh, I can't reach the button. I, there you go. You got it. There we go. Oh, boy. Hope you all can hear us. <laughs> oh. All right. Is there a handbrake? No? Nope. All right, here we go. Oh, clutch is easy. Oh, yeah. Clutch is very easy. The lever's like four and a half feet long. All right, and you have power steering. Oh, yeah. That's excellent. The last one did not. I couldn't oh, drive man. around without power steering. I feel like Smokey Eunuch in this car. <laughs> here we go. Old cars, as uh, as most of you know, old cars scare the shit out of me. <laughs> so this one's gonna take some getting used to. Oh, shifter's easy, clutch is easy. So far, much easier than the last number. So why did you choose this car? Just because it was there? I had it. You had it already? I got this car when I was a teenager. I've uh, just been cutting it up and learning how to work on cars over time with this car. Like, I learned how to weld, I learned how to rebuild an engine, how to set up a transmission, uh, suspension. Test the brakes real quick. Uh, they're, they're there, pedal's a little soft, but they're there. These are my street pads, they're not very... They'll stop the car, but... Okay. Is it T-56? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Light. 
stays pretty flat in the corners too. Oh yeah, and that's uh, I fixed the roll centers. The, the rear, the roll center, and center of gravity are like this far apart. In the front, uh, I put in some Ford Explorer ball joints because the shank is longer, and it, it fixed the roll centers in the front. So it's not even though it's big and full parts. It's not just thrown together. No, there's there's many maps. Yeah. Sitting in traffic in this car. To get hot or is it just uncomfortable? 
this floor becomes a radiator and gets you just burning hot. Yeah, there's nothing resembling sound insulation or anything here. <laughs> Other than that though, it's really easy to just drive around daily. Alright, Hobie. Alright, this isn't going to work. Wow, 15. This is, this is not going to work for me at all. You're going... You're going about 20. I don't have any headlights to flash. That's that button on the floor. Oh, hell yeah! I love the floor flash. I forgot about that. I think this guy lives his life a quarter mile at a time. Oh my god, this guy lives his life a quarter century at a time. <laughs> Dude, let me buy. Something about this car really wants me to make an illegal pass, too. <laughs> I mean, it really... At, at the speed this gentleman is going, I'd have to pull over on the side of the road for 20 minutes to have enough room to clear, for to clear out. And he's got a Mustang wow. GT, too. I so mean, is it, has this thing been reliable for you? Is it, has it been good? I drove it all the way down here from Vallejo. It's like a five-hour drive. I'm sorry, did you say Vallejo? Where? Vallejo. Really? Yeah.
I didn't mean, with the exception of maybe like, you know, a couple of the half million dollar Art Morrison deals. You know, those don't, that, that's another level. But for home-built junkyard parts, fucking wagon, <laughs> with old truck shit in it, that's unbelievable. This whole build was uh, just over 5,000 bucks, too. That's amazing. A lot of it is in the steering and, and the fact that there's a good seat in here. You know, I don't have to like hang on. Oh, yeah. You know, it doesn't matter what you have. If you got a bench seat, you're not having fun. Let me see what that, that's good. Oh, that's Wait. The shifter's a little weird. Yeah, the shifter is a little weird. Right. Okay, third, fourth, fifth. I want to see where it's at in the sixth. No? Got it. Oh, there's fifth. Six. Sixth oh, yeah, it's really days. low. For some reason, I couldn't find six there. I don't know why. I'm getting like. 2,000 RPM, yeah. 80. So you get pretty good fuel economy? Not anything like that other Rambler. That guy said he got 30. I get like 18 to 20 on really? the highway. Or it's two with the track. Lying. <laughs> I don't want to make assumptions. No, I mean, he had, well, you have a 6 liter. He had a 5.7. Uh, he also had a different final drive. I think he had a 373. Or maybe it was a 355, I'm not entirely sure. But he did have a different final drive. I mean, I, Andy... Uh, it's possible. I, he had a different tune, too. I wrote this tune myself. So, did you? And I don't know much. Well, I gotta tell you, man, this thing rocks. <laughs> it's Thanks, really, man. really good. Thank you so much for sharing it with us, because it's, it's cars like this that give me a lot of pleasure. Because it's weird... And it's made of weird stuff, and it and yet it works better than a lot of the properly, you know, the, the big dollar stuff. I've driven some big dollar stuff that does not drive as good as this. That is this so is, cool. This is excellent. And I, you get you got to whatever you're doing with it, you got to keep doing it because it's it works and it's and it's awesome. And I really really appreciate you letting me drive it. It's really cool. Thanks. Right man. on. And of course, thank you guys for watching. We uh, we we love having you. See y'all later.